In this video, I will be explaining internet plans and services, and especially fair user policy cap and top up, all these advanced settings of internet services and tariff plans. Let's go through it slowly. Here we have internet plans, and uh, ad plan is very simple. I showed it in the previous uh, video, so where I define my tariff plan and here for example the most important part for networking is uh, the download maximum speed and the upload maximum speed and then i can apply fair user policy rules and uh, have advanced configuration there under config fair user policy please be aware that this cap is not enabled by default so to enable it you have to go to config and under configuration if you type there or if you scroll down to main modules there are the parts of the platform that you can enable or disable and this cap is disabled by default so i need to enable it if i want to work with a cap and top-ups so everything is enabled now let's go to my fair user policy settings of this plan so this accounting traffic uh, this is the splitting of peak on peak and off peak data so right now I'm not going to do that because uh, the cap is the next part of my video. And the basic fair user policy settings, what we can add here. For example, I can reduce the speed of the customer if he's downloading too much during a day. So this is daily maximum rule. And I say if he is using during one day over 10 gigabytes, I will just slow down a bit his speed, 20%, for example. I can save it or I can add a new rule. Then I can also close it this way. Okay, and the new rule is I want to give more data or more speed to customers during night hours. During night hours, I would like select first of all that night hours means from midnight till 6 a.m. And then I would like to give them more. So I want to give 100% of speed during night hours to my clients. And also I can add a rule then weekend limit. During weekends, the customer will get more speed. So for example, the Sunday and Saturday, I will give him 20% increase to his regular speed. So these rules I can apply also to other plans. So if I have another plan, for example, 10 Mac, let's go to this 10 Mac and just apply the rules. There are no rules yet, but I can load rules from other plan, select my 25 Mac where I have added all these rules and create these rules for the plan 10 megabit. Here it is, daily maximum, night hours and weekend limit. So my basic speed on that plan, if I go there, it can show me there, it's 10 Mac. What will happen if customer will start downloading data during night hours? This is my fair user policy preview and test. So this is what it should tell me. So if I say, okay, this customer is downloading nine gig in general, and this is his time of Thursday, what rule will be applied? The rule action 100%. What will be the speed of this 10 megabit customer? the speed will be 20 megabit. So during night hours, this guy will receive uh, 20, 20 max speeds. What will happen if it will be on Saturday and will be on the night hours, but the rule which is below is all writing the rule that was above and it is applying currently this uh, rule that is called uh, week, weekend limit. What will happen if he has transferred 20 gigabytes? Still, the weekend limit is applied. As you can see, this rule is just above, but I can dro drop it down here, the daily maximum, which is my 10 gigabyte speed, uh, 10 gigabyte limit. And then I can test the same thing. And I say, okay, if it is Saturday and he downloads this amount, okay. 
you see so it's even if it is saturday because my fair reserve policy rule of daily limit of uh, was uh, below it so it doesn't it just says it will be applied there okay 20 percent so but if i scroll down again if i reset that set up saturday and give him less yeah so still this is saturday traffic is applied so this is the fair user policy fair user policy uh, works let's say online so it's ad hoc immediately when customer reaches his uh, stat st in statistics reaches his limits uh, the action is applied through radio so through api depends how router is configured and set up now this is the fair user policy a simple way of uh, changing speed the customer we can continue and uh, try the caps okay if we go to cap cap is a monthly limit so this is always monthly so this is why you say see here monthly traffic limit we can also customize and choose off peak and on peak data by defining for example here saying that from 6 a.m to 8 p.m this is my peak time and everything what is after or before this time is just the off peak data okay and when I configure it this way, then I have an option in my cap, say, what is my uh, bonus traffic limit? So first of all, of course, I need to set it up this way. Monthly traffic limit is 100. And the bonus traffic limit, if I set it up unlimited, it means that all traffic that will be in this time frame from 8 p.m. till 6 a.m., this will not be counted. So it will not be charged. The customer will get it for free. Okay, it will not be limited, will not be uh, limits, will not be applied to that. But if, it, if I set it up this way, then, or this way, 200, then it means that monthly traffic limits will be 100 meg and additional 200 megs will be applied for off-peak data. Okay, let's say that we have no off-peak and on-peak data. We just have a basic cap. And our basic cap is 100 gig, or it can be more. I can select it, it can be terabyte, okay? And so then how do we count uh, traffic both directions? And uh, what will happen when customer will reach the limit? I can slow his internet down, or I can set him fixed speed, for example, 512 kilobits per second, or I will just block this client. So these are the basic things to monthly limit cap. Then we have options how customer can top up his data. One of the options is to auto top up. It means that uh, by default, customers on this tariff plans will have some auto top up based uh, on the top up settings, okay? And there are certain configurations for this top up here. Uh, but we need to set up to configure at least one top-up to apply out to top-ups. Okay, there are three options how customer can top-up his data. First one is out to top-up. The second one, uh, he can log in and buy the top-up from his customer portal. And the third option, administrator can do it for him. Okay, let's set up, for example, 5 GB top-up. And amount will be 5. Again, I select GB. Price will be $10 for that. And validity of the top up will be unlimited or end of period. So it means that if I purchase it in December, it will be valid until December, one month of purchase. Okay, I set it up as unlimited. And to invoice means that I will charge customer for that. So it will just be put to his invoice, not to his balance only. Okay, so this is we configure top up plans and we can also set up notifications. Can add notification saying that when you reach 90% uh, of your data, their notification will be sent, something like that. For example, monthly limit and uh, total usage. Yeah. Um, this we can we can work with the different options. Okay, one monthly limit is 100 gigabyte currently. I need to save that because if I do not save, I cannot continue there. So I just save it this way. And then I go to my notifications. And 
email message or SMS match message will be sent to a customer. For that, I can edit the message and I can load the temp template. For example, 80% is used. I can, of course, change that to 90% if I want. Just need to change it here as well on the template. Okay. And then I close this. Uh, now confirm change. Uh, confirm change. And then, as you can see, 90%. Save so there is a one notification. Also, I can add more notifications. Some notification, for example, when I add a new top up or when the auto top up is applied. So this is what I can say, and and I can create a top up action when the top up was added. I can send the message to customer that the top up was added, like auto top up notification email. Load. And here, okay, confirm the changes. So as you can see, this is now auto top up notification. And uh, then again, I can add additional notification that will say, but if customer top up is going to end, top up usage is 90%, then add him additional notification saying that, hey, your top up is already over. Here you can say this is 100, for example example but i can send it for 90 percent as well just changing a bit the data here and confirm the changes yeah i see that here we need to change it as well save so there are three notifications currently set up for this tariff plan and one auto top up for five gig uh, this is the not only auto top up the customer can also buy it okay i can create one more top up that will be uh, one gig for uh, the price will be two for example so it will be cheaper and i say two uh yeah one gig for two gigabytes and exactly the same things here so now i have two top ups that customer can choose and i have uh, notifications okay three notifications and now if I would like to apply to this, uh, uh, to this plan by default some auto top up, I can set it up here and say, okay, customer with this plan will get automatically five gigabyte top up and how many times he will get it. Uh, he, can, he can get it. Uh, yeah, this is a different thing, but there is also option to set up how many times he will get it in the configuration of the customer. And there are, if I want to roll over my data uh, and uh, if it will just overwrite all my daily and weekly fair user policy limits. And uh, yeah, let's save that. And let's go to some customer and check if there is a cap option available on his account. So is the customer with a 10 Mac, so this one. And here you can see, I can just close this and there is a cap options. By default, auto top up is disabled for a client. But if I enable it, again, it can tell me what. Okay, so this is, this is what I can set it for him and say how many numbers of auto top ups he will get. He will get maximum five auto top ups or two auto top ups. Transfer users to new service. When I change my tariff plan for this customer, the usage uh, will be moved from one plan to another plan, or I don't want to do that. I just make it this way. So that's and save. So these are the settings for this customer. I can top up his data manually. This is what I mentioned. I can click top up button here and I can select a plan, say this is his 5G or this is 1G plan and uh, I add the top up as an administrator. He can do the same thing also when he is uh, a customer, when he logs into the customer. So if I log in as a customer here, there under my services is my service. And I think there must be, yeah, it's not enabled here, but I can enable it for, for them. Let's do that in the customer portal configuration. Right now, this customer has an auto top up and uh, yeah, I can also 
set up this for him. And in the history of top-ups, it will show me all what happened to, the, to this customer. And also if it charges him, it has to create him a transaction. Let's check if this is the case. Here it is. So it creates him a transaction and this transaction will be added to his next invoice. So when I charge him next time, it will just add him this transaction for the top-up to his account. How does it look when the customer uh, has all these things configured? There is a, one example of peak of peak data. When he logs in, this is the usage uh, from Splinks. Okay, so here you can see that there is a, if I split usage my per peak and off peak, this is how customer will see his data, data usage. Okay, thank you for your time for now, and let's continue to voice plan configuration.